Yeah, we uh, faced many challenges over the years. Um, the most recent one was um, moving away from our non-healthcare related clients. Um, like many firms, we started as a general practice taking on um, a wide range of um, clients. It was very hard for us to just purely focus on healthcare and uh, um, and just start taking only healthcare clients. So I think that was a very uh, one of the biggest challenges we faced. So many business owners, accountants no exception, they represent their firms either on their websites, their LinkedIn profile, their emails, their networking events, whatever it is, in exactly the same way as everybody else. This is about really standing out from the crowd, um, identifying your ideal client and then becoming incomparable. So you're not compared on price or, you know, this, that, the other against the other accountants out there. You are independent. So the winner of the Practice Differentiation Award is, and he's online as well, he couldn't be with us in the room today, is Usman Sayal. So Usman, well done. Congratulations. Thank you, Shane. <laughs> so Usman, please um, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about your practice. Yes, hi, I'm Osman, uh, the founder of Seattle Accountants. Um, we are based in London. Um, we specialize in accounting services for healthcare uh, professionals like doctors, opticians, pharmacists. Um, we are a team of six uh, committed to providing um, personal and professional services to our clients. Thank you very much. So tell us a little bit about the obstacles, the challenges that you were facing. And again, how are they impacting on you emotionally as well as professionally? Yeah, we uh, faced many challenges over the years. Um, the most recent one was um, moving away from our non-healthcare related clients. Um, like many firms, we started as a general practice taking on um, a wide range of um, clients. Uh, with, with my background in healthcare sector, I decided to just niche it down uh, and just purely focus on healthcare uh, professionals. Um, so it, it was very hard for us to just purely focus on healthcare and, uh, um, and just start taking only healthcare clients. So I think that was a very, uh, one of the biggest challenges we faced. Um, so we, we basically, um, not just this... Um, challenge, but obviously emotionally, um, we were attached to our existing uh, non-healthcare clients. So it was, uh, um, it was, it was uh, um, emotional attachment with, with, with the existing client was another hurdle uh, to going to just purely focus on healthcare clients. Um, so we also, um, uh, we, we've faced uh, issues like capacity wise that we had to have the capacity to take on uh, healthcare related clients um, and other other harder we faced was the marketing. So we wanted to um, market to our um, um, uh, healthcare related client, not just uh, not um, non healthcare related clients. So these these kind of issues we faced over the last um, year. Okay, so talk us through all of the steps that you've taken now to to get into well the position that you're now in. Yes. Um, we um, obviously took uh, two many different uh, steps, but a um, few which I can list on here is, um, or one of the things that we did is we basically consolidated our brand. We rebranded. Um, previously, we had the two different websites, so we uh, consolidated them into one, purely focusing on healthcare-related clients. Um, we hired a full-time marketing manager who, who's been working for the last few months um, focusing on getting healthcare clients. Um, we obviously introduced a few other things like we, 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 we basically now got the, this um, uh, personalized welcome gift box that we send into our, uh, all our new clients. Plus, we have sent these to our um, 50 uh, top-rated uh, existing clients. So these are basically um, steps and strategies we took, a few of them um, over the last few months. Thank you. So tell us about the results that you're seeing right now. And very quickly um, as well, because you've got about 40 seconds left. Yeah, sorry, say, say it again, uh, Sean. 
What, what, are the, what are the results that you're now seeing as a result of, of differentiating your practice? Yeah, so the results, obviously, um, the, um, the growth, well, we, we're obviously growing very quickly now. Um, just last few weeks, we generated nearly 20 leads, um, purely healthcare-related clients. Few of them already have joined us, uh, rest of them going through the process. Um, the, the improvement in efficiency and obviously client engagement is another thing um, we, we have seen over the last few months. Um, the, the greater satisfaction, obviously, personally, I can feel that we we are achieving what I really wanted to achieve, going to the direction I really wanted to go. Um, and obviously, this is something uh, satisfying for, for our team as well. I'm just going to share with you some of the things that stood out for me as well when I read Usman's um, application. So he's gone from trying to be all things to all people at the same time as trying to specialize in medical to now being incredibly rigid on his ideal client. He's been very brave and sacked some of those D clients that aren't right for him. His values are now forming an absolute compass in decision-making and direction. He's put in place a great referral strategy and he's, He's increased his credibility by getting an accreditation through Medic Money. Rather than talking about the, the features, he's very much focused on the results and the outcomes that he gets for his ideal clients in all of his communications. So they, they were the things that really stood out for me. Listen, let's everybody give uh, Osman a massive round of applause. Well done, team.